back to a new video. It's, sorry it's been a while, but today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on a new monkey. So if you're new to the game, this is the perfect video for you. Anyways, let's get started. So when you know when you, yeah, you spawn in, but you don't know what to do. It's going to be hard movement, because this is like, because you're just starting off, it's going to be hard to move around. But like, a lot of people are going to be going like this, or like this, or this is going to be hard moving. You want to try and go parallel with the floor. Just go parallel. If you go parallel, it's the few faster you go. And try and make your way over to like here, where it says go up. You you want to go up. It's simple. Just like just hit the ground. You go up. Hit down. You come this way. You jump down, and you go parallel with the floor again. Remember, parallel with everything. Goes make you go faster. And you make your way over here, you go up the ramp. You go parallel with the ramp. So just parallel. Just go, you go parallel, you go faster. So you go faster. If you, when you, once you come over here, you come down here. Wait, wait, wait. That's fine. Just jump down. You could be in a public lobby, but just jump down. Try and make your when you jump down, make sure you go over just the uh, stump here. Just go parallel up. And again, hit the ground, you go up. Come this way. My game was glitchy, okay? Come to the computer here. Ooh. How do you know? First, see the computer, you're gonna see something like this. You're gonna just press any key to get rid of it. And from here, just hit option one. So you hit option one, so you're not in a room now. See, what room is? You, you can. You, you basically, you can type in a code, you hit enter, you join. Whatever game mode it's on, <coughs> that's the. Game, that's the game moving for them to join the room. But also when you're doing that, so like when you, so like also when you like are joining a room, it's it, you just have I don't know. When you join a room, you just hit option one, and disconnect. Nothing else. If you want, if you want, if you want to leave the room, just hit option one. <clears throat> hit the arrow key to go down, and hit the arrow key to go up. If you go add down, you can get rid of your name. See, if I want to hit delete. It gets my, rid of my name. If you can have any name you want, you can have. Let's just do Ford, for an example, and enter. It's now my name. It's current current name is now Ford now. If we come over here, we go out here. I'll see you down there. I've cut it My name is Ford now. Guys, wait! I'm gonna So like your name is Ford. Now, if we go down to the color, which is below name, mine is seven one four. This is seven one four, but you can adjust it to any color. It's it takes a while to get used to, but zero 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 is black. Um for, this is just red. See, it's red. This is green. This is blue. But if you want like purple or something, you gotta combine them together. It's like paint. The yeah. It's basically a color value. And for turn, <clears throat> you hit option one for snap turn. This is snap turn. This is smooth turn. You can adjust the speed from 1 to 9, or 0, which is slow. Um, and then there's option 3, which is none. You don't turn at all, you turn in real life. Um, and a mic, you hit option 1 for all chat, which means you don't have to press anything, you just, you just have chat for all. If you hit option 2, which you use push to talk, you push a button to talk. On the right controller, you'll be hitting A, you hit A to, for talk. On the left controller picture is Y. Um, option three, it's the same thing, but instead of pushing the talk, you push those buttons to mute yourself. 
you have to hold them. Um, for Q, you hit option 1 for default, which is like default lobbies. Option 2 for minigame lobbies. And then option 3 for competitive. But you might not have it unlocked. I'll show you how to unlock competitive later, but... But then we go to group. This is meant for if you have friends or something, you wanna... You know, you hit 1 for forest, 2 is cave, 3 is canyon, 4 is city. And 5 and 6 are not available because you have to go to different maps for that. But then we have voice. Um, option 1 is to enable voice chat, and option 2 is disable. So I'm pretty sure if you have this off, you can't hear anyone else talking. And then we have items. You set the current volume here because it's like, item, but it's auto article is true. You can turn those off or on. But instrument volume, it's basically for drums and guitars and stuff. And then we have credits. Credits is something like... You click it, you, you click enter the next page. It's basically showing you who is like a part of the dev team. Like special, this special thanks and stuff, but. And then support. I'm not gonna hit enter, but. Basically, when you hit enter, it shows your player ID and your build code and stuff. You don't wanna show it, tell anyone that or show anyone that. That's private, private stuff. Um. This is your cosmetic stand. You, you come here to put cosmetics on. You're probably not going to have any though if you're new. But if you want to buy a cosmetic, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Also, another thing I forgot to say. This this message of the day. It basically tells you what's about the day or something. And also the game modes. Casual. You, you play casual. You just don't do anything. You talk to people. Maybe practice your routes or branching or something. Infections where you get competitive and you start trying to tag people if you're a tiger. If you're running. If you're not tag, you start. You have to run from the tigers. Hunt, you you look at a watch that's on your wrist here. It'll tell you the person's name and color and their cosmetics they're wearing. And it'll also tell them how far away they are. Paint Brawl is something where each person, it's like equal groups of team. Blue and versus orange. And you'll have a slingshot right here on your chest. You get that, you shoot people's balloons. The other team loses all their balloons, you win. So let's go up here now. So you have, you I'm pretty sure you start off with 500 shiny rocks when you first start as a new player. You get 100 shiny rocks over 24 hours. Mine says one hour because I've been playing for a while. Um, most people buy the party hat first. You don't have to, but you can save up for something else. Buy another thing that's 500. But that's just most most people buy. Over here you can. You can buy, well, you don't have to buy things, but say you wanted to try this on, right? See what it looks like. You get, you don't have to buy it, but if you come over here and press it, you can try it on, see? You can try it on, but you don't have to buy it. But, say I, I tried it on. Turn on the stuff. I pull this out. I go past this, like, line here. Or this, or like up there, it, it, goes, it disappears, it's, it's not purchased, it's just a try-on thing. So, you have to, you come here to buy it, but I can't, it, I don't have enough, so. You also, you know, well, now the, there's this mounds map here. Mounds map here, you can do a bunch of stuff here. Uh, there's a lot to do in this. Mountains map, so if you an ice map, city, you go buy stuff and hang out with people. Can't play infection, city. Also, there's another area over here. Like I said, I was going to show you how to do competitive. And what you're going to do, this is for, you need to be decent at this game. But what I recommend, well, if you don't know, so you can, you can go the normal way. You have to like go jump to these areas and stuff. You see, it's, so I mess up sometimes. I can mess up sometimes. That's why I take the easy way, where you jump it. But you have to be as a rock monkey to do it. You need to be a rock monkey. 
Uh, you just gotta go this way. And you can press this button and you should have competitive unlocked. You go back to Q and you should press option 3 and it should unlock. Ban, like, I don't know, if someone tells you to put, like, a certain name. Like, just make sure if it rhymes, like, if it's, like, if they tell you, like, a certain code or a name or something, and they put, say, so put it in, you get shiny rocks or something. Make, you make sure that name that they're saying doesn't, like, look similar to the N-word or Hitler or something like that, or KKK. Because if you do put that in your name, you will get banned. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go now, alright? Hope you new monkeys become good at this game.